<laughs> Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Uh, help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I, I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. There. Hello? Can you rescue Harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Go get help. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard's side, or his underneath, or whatever. Can you untie that bow on Harm me's cloud? Why would I do that? because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. The big old nasty-looking kind. Thanks. Hmm. Sounds bad. I'd better go find a knot expert for advice. Yeah, like a professional knotologist. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You seem good with your hands. You know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? Like nine ladybugs flying in formation. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well. Let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Okay, see you later. Okay.
Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Well? Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. that not another try, okay? Okay. Pull the finger. Like this? Now it's even more naughty. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new terrible knot. Hang on. I'm gonna get a new diagram and be right back. Okay. What's it look like this time? Like a mathematical formula. Hmm. I think I know that one. that not another try, okay? Okay. Unravel the sweater. I think I see what you mean. Not so tough now, are you? Huh? Tickle the foot. You mean something like I think we're getting somewhere. She loves me, she loves me not. Right. It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. I got it! Hey, get your mitts off that! What the heck? Now fix your eyes! For there, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard? What is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll this get is a bad. Pole. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea. But you're welcome to take it. What? No! That's mine! My likeness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No. I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao!
This hook may look small, but it's made from really advanced materials. You could catch a whale with this thing. Mm-hmm. Prove it. I can't reach it. I'd rather get fed to a trained seal than tell more jokes to you people. At least seals clap once in a while. I wish I could shake it down. What did the fish doorman do to the underage poet at the bar? Carpi deedum! I wish I could shake it down. You think you like me now? Why do you try me with a wedge of lemon? Tree. Human. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Oh, come on. You don't need that fish. I happen to think it brings an interesting asymmetry to my look. So back off. Hey, want to hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? How many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to murder a tree to make a ladder, the other to change the light bulb. Well, that's a reasonable number, actually. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Did you hear about the First National Tree Bank? No. What? I have all my money in the First National Tree Bank. It closed down. Oh no! My whole life savings! Don't worry, it just started a new branch. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes! How's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar paw baby mine. Shh. It seems like so much work to teach a fish to sing. I wonder why they didn't teach it a second song. So I says, honey, I would never call your mother a catfish. They've got shorter whiskers. What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the Fish Reaper. Or Freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your Freeper for a little while? But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauty. I lost all his look. And this terminal goes. I think that's the right terminal. Now I'm out of wire. At least he's got more wires now. Huh. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it. Not sure what that means. Target acquired. He's got to line up the shot. Almost got it. Old steel. Death from above! Ah, rats! I thought I had that one. Were you trying to stab me? Why? 
Don't take it personally, kid. It's just what I do. For instance, just a minute ago, I took down this whole ship after ripping the very fabric of space itself. To you, you got off easy. Just when I thought things couldn't get any stranger. Um... I knew you'd be back. Something tells me you're a girl who knows the value of a good night. Can I just confirm that you are a talking knife? Because I'm trying to figure out if I'm losing my mind, or just mildly hallucinating. Oh, I'm the real deal, kid. A technological marvel, and sharp, too. What are you doing inside the monster, Mob Chathra? Monster? Kid, you are inside the spaceship Bossa Nostra. Or, uh, just outside of it, actually. We're outside of a spaceship? Then how can I breathe? Don't ask me. I'm solid state. I gotta admit, though, this ship and everything around it has been acting a little nutty since I cut it. But I dance to be expected. Who's the captain of this ship? Well, the other kid who just tumbled through that bright spot in space, that's the one we called Commander. But the real brains of the operation, we just call Mom. Where can I find Mom? Beats me. I haven't heard from her in a while. But hey, I didn't stab her. Can't pin that on me. You're coming with me. And for the record, I took down this ship. Whatever. Ride's a ride. I can still see the sky through that hole in space. Weird. Attention. Current altitude below recommended level. Outer hull breach detected. Attempting emergency takeoff. What is that? A goldfish bowl? Oh. I guess space helmet makes more sense. Matrix cleared. Completing starfield repair. Starfield integrity restored. Initializing repressurization. Function unavailable. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Unable to engage anti-gravity field. Hey, Pointy. You actually any good at cutting stuff? The name's Dutch. Any answers? Yes. 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 Yes! Finally. Thanks for that. Thank you. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Hmm. I might be able to make... Warning. Unanticipated hydraulic connection. At least nothing blew up. What's this one do? This one... Looks as good as any. Now what? Accessing maintenance panel 114. I was hoping for something more spectacular. I could get a longer hose by cutting it up here. maintenance panel 36 at least nothing blew up well who wants to live forever right I'm really starting to like you kid how that hurt but it was worth it for this hose, I think. Cutting is always worth it. Hopefully I can make some new connections with this pipe goes. 
air transport system integrity restored. Oh, yeah. Beginning repressurization. Wait, that's good, right? Engaging anti-gravity field. Oh, here we go. Gyro stabilizers online. Is the room spinning? Or is it me? that arm if I held you out? I could stab it, but I can't grab it. Yeah, but it might grab you. Nah, it only grabs the boy and the stump. Mom's arms are funny that way. Oh. Think you could kill that hand for me, Knife? I like how you think, but no. It's made of metal and as big as a house. I thought you killed whole spaceships. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not big enough. Right. I know you want this helmet. Wax. Bad timing. Here, little claw. Wax. Bad timing. Rabbit. Wax. Bad timing. Right here, rats. Wow, it really seems to like boots. Rabbit, rats. Bad timing. Here, little claw, rats. Bad timing. It's right here. You got me. Now let go of that helmet. Timing. Whoops! Facing the wrong way. Rats. I need to get the timing right. Hang on. Let's see it now. Ugh, stupid giant claw. Get out of the way! that thing. Dang. Bad timing. Whoops. Facing the wrong way. Rats. Need to get the timing right. Tells me I'm not going to be able to get you to let go of that boot, am I? Hang on. Let's see it now. Whoa! Hey! I recognize that grip. I'll bet you were inside one of those tentacles that grabbed me on the beach. Probably one of the ones I shot, I'm guessing. Well, serves you right. Maybe I can push off this thing. Woohoo! Space! I did it! Oh, come on. Ah! <sighs> That's better. The air was starting to get a little thin out there. I'm either in some sort of warning Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extravehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you. Sweetie pie? 
So, those spacesuit parts I found belong to someone named Sweetie Pie. But who is behind Sweetie Pie? That's what I want to know. Are you another prisoner of Mob Chathra? Must be a maiden from some land of hexagons. Don't worry, little hexagal. I'm gonna find all the other maidens and get us all out of here, okay? That does not look safe. This place is falling apart. Uh, hello? Looks like this clause warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. Hmm. Is that a train? Hmm. This door doesn't open. Man, this place is a mess. Mob Chathra may be alive again, but he doesn't look so hot. Looks like something... Horrible is in here. But what? Uh, door won't open. So much junk in here. This must be the room where they melt stuff. Oh, must be locked or something. of the beast or ship either way monster or machine I took it down before should be even easier from the inside is this the brain looks important but also super fake must be a decoy not opening locked maybe I could find the brains of this operation. I could open all these doors. Locked. Well, I always did want to get out and see some more of the world. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. My name is Bella Tartine, and I'm here to take you down. D did you say Martine? Shay, is that you making a joke? Engineering department, just a routine maintenance visit. Engineering department? What are you talking about? Is that you, Shay? It's me, Shay. Oh, really? Is that really you, Shay? You sound so strange. I was injured. It's affecting my voice. Oh, that sounds terrible. If, if it's true. Oh, I just don't know what to believe. It's me. Don't you recognize me? Well, not really, to tell you the truth. Okay, I'm not really Shay. What? Are you playing some kind of cruel joke on me? If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Maybe. What's this? Some sort of living quarters? Oh, quit with the sad stuff, Magchatra. You brought this on. Nice view. Both of them. Gruesome. Wait, is that real? Okay, that's definitely fake. Whew. Why would someone put that there? Maybe that boy I saw was trying to fake his own death to avoid prosecution as a kidnapper. Huh. Someone pried open this vent. I wonder why. Guess there's only one way to find out. Shay, 
Hey, you. It's you. The last one. Who are you? Are you in control of this monster ship? No. She is in control. The brains. I was just a stowaway sent to save the young boy. What were you saving the boy from? From her. The one they call Mom. She's been programmed to keep the boy safe, but she's taken it beyond sanity or reason. Now he is her prisoner. We all are. Who's her? I mean, who is she? She's the brains of this ship. You can find her in the room next to the galley. But be careful. She has eyes and hands everywhere. The boy's not a prisoner anymore. He escaped when I, uh, boarded. I see. Well, that shouldn't affect the mission. Which mission? To get control of this ship and end this madness. Is the boy the one kidnapping maidens? No. And, yes. He made the selections, but didn't know what he was selecting. He thought he was rescuing helpless creatures, because that's really what we were doing. How were you rescuing anyone? We were saving you... <coughs> ...from the plague. What plague? Get me out of here and I'll explain. Why did you have the boy select whom you were rescuing? Even our best technology is no match for the instincts of a boy like Shay, especially at his age. You're not really explaining anything. It's <coughs> hard for me to talk. Get this off of me and I can explain <coughs> everything. Why did you call me the last one? You were the last creature, final subject of our rescue mission. Shay seemed especially interested in you on more than one occasion. Why did you single me out? I assume he sensed your strength somehow, your spirit. I hope he was right. Where are the other maidens you rescued? They're safe, but locked up. Once we get control of the ship back from her, we can free them. Where is this ship headed? I assume back to its homeland, to deliver us to its masters. Can we stop this ship? Yes, but only if we can get into the central control room. She's locked the door with some sort of manual override. It can only be opened by her, from the inside. Can you open any of the locked doors on the ship? Well, my arms are pinned. But I think I can push this one button. That's the best I can do. Thanks. I can work with that. Hey, wait, you're a wolf. Sorry, I've had a really strange day, and it's getting hard to recognize strange things right away. It's a long story, but I promise if you help me get out of here, I'll explain everything. I've got to go. Get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. I don't want to free this guy until I'm 100% sure about him. Hmm. This door is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. Looks like a museum in here, after a tornado. Wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy, thanks for the shoes. Aw, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. Sheesh. Demanding. Shay Volta, best actor, Purple Boots, the musical. Looks like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. 
patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? Safety Award, Aquatics category. It's a painting of what looks like a red boot. Shay's first space boots, age five. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. It says, safety award, footwear category. Second place, shoe tying contest. What a sad sack. I wonder if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird childhood. I'll bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long. And so, Snake. Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. It's Melanie. Huh. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. What? Close your eyes and don't look down. Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now, you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. No worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. You know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen so she'll get special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Hi. Who wants to go to the starboard passageway? Really? I thought we had a connection. Hi. Who wants to go to the star? Close your eyes and don't look down. Ciao! Ah, oh, there's my old head again. Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. Yes, this is all brains. All right, all right. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Bye-bye. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie. It's temporary. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. Do I sound more like Shay? I mean, uh, myself now? Maybe, but I... You sound so strange. If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Maybe.
What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. You and your head will be approximately good as new. Hey there. Back to the exits. Let's see if this works. Thanks for choosing teleportation. Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? 
Are you insane? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> Marikai, what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But... how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella, because here we are. Prepare the ship for sterilization. You two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. Captain! Up here! I'm a weapon! Hey, look! A fork! I'd have a full set if I could just find the... Oh, I wouldn't bring up the S-P-O-O-N if I were you. <gasps> Tiny here broke his heart, so he volunteered for a suicide mission. You shut your mouth, Dutch! Hey, don't worry. I won't tell him who you dumped him for. <sighs> Yikes. Hey there. Hope? Bella, was it? So, I'm getting the feeling that you weren't behind all these kidnappings. What kidnappings? This ship. On the outside, it's built to look like a monster. <gasps> Every 14 years, a ship like yours comes to a village like mine, and we offer sacrificial maidens to it, so it won't destroy the town. It can't be. And then the monster, your ship, takes some of the maidens away forever. This all sounds so crazy. But it sounds exactly like the kind of scheme the Thrush would come up with. Sorry I lied about being your son. The wolf said, well, I'm just sorry. It's okay. I don't blame you. It sounds like Marikai has been fooling all of us for a long time. How can we get out of here? I locked the door manually before, but now I imagine Marikai's locked it himself. Our only hope is if there are systems he's overlooked. I'm going to find a way out of here. Okay, I'm gonna try to think of a way too. Any ideas yet? No, sorry. I'm going to find a way out of here. Okay, I'm gonna... This is a sweet picture. Yeah, it helps me remember. He wasn't always a teenager. What's this? Oh, that's just my central control sphere. I used it to keep a watch on the ship. With little changes here and there. Mind if I try it? Sure, but I'm sure Marikai shut down most of the remote features by now. I 
can see the outside of our door. Looks like the controls have been sabotaged. Really? Oh, if I could just get out there, I'll bet I could fix them. Well, yeah, but if we could get out there, we wouldn't need... Yeah, yeah, I know. But still. Ooh, I think I can lock and unlock doors. Yeah, but something tells me not ours somehow. Hey, I can see other rooms. Yeah, but probably only the ones Marikai doesn't care about. Hey, cheer up. Everything's going to be... Sorry. Wow, those arms are strong. Yes, pick that up. Thank you. And now... Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess it was dirty. But I didn't really need you to... Hey, where are you going with that? Those things have a mind of their own. Empty. Hey, cheer up. That's better. Peekaboo. Let's see what's going on in here. Unlocked. Unlocked. I never thought Mavchathra would be so full of smiles. Nothing in here except a hexagal. Unlocked. Oh! I guess that sparking panel had its power shut off for a reason. Whoops. Just a little bit more. That goes off. She'll have that fixed in no time. Over here. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Hey, I think we need a safety light over here. Good girl. That's a bad wiring. That goes off. That's a good girl. Ooh, spark. Uh-oh. Made it pretty dark over there. Okay. She's on it. A little farther. Worth the shot. Wait, she's on it. Just a little bit more. Hey, anyone got a flashlight? There's that smile. Someone should really fix that. Okay, that should take a little while for her to fix. How does this thing work? Ooh, sparky. Let's try this. Come on. Fixing problems just as quickly as, well, as I caused them. Yes! We made it! Home stretch. Ah, no, no, no! Oh, little girl, I'm so sorry. Dang it. You are. I'm so happy to see you. You hang in there, girl. Is that a box of cereal? Okay, let's 
Let's be careful this time. I hope that hole is blocked up enough now. Don't fix that too quickly now. Hey, look! An electrical problem to fix. That's right! Better get on that. That's my girl. Check it out, Hope! You did it! We're free! Attention, approaching red hangar. Prepare for sterilization. Oh no! This place. This is where they build and store ships like ours. The Mog Factory? I'm afraid so. No. This is great. Instead of killing one Mog, we can destroy all the Mogs forever. Oh, and all the people in the factory, too. Darn. There are no people in the factory. It's all automated, but I really. Great. Now we just have to figure out how to use that death ray. Death ray? Yeah. You're right. A death ray isn't going to cut it this time. We're gonna need something bigger. Like a bomb. The only thing I've ever blown up was my family's oven. But with all the high-tech stuff on this ship, there must be something we can make a massive explosion with, right? Maybe, but I... So, I'll make a bomb. Figure out a way to dump it in the factory, and also a way for you and me to get the heck out of here and back to our families. Sound good? Not really, but if there's a chance it will get me back to my family, then it's the only option I've got. Not exactly a battle cry, but I'll take it. 